Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your feline friend some marijuana joints or blunts. I have them in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And I'm just going to show you how to make the medium one today. Um, and also, I'm going to post the pattern for this basket. I'm not going to show you how to make it because it takes forever. But um, I'm going to post the pattern when I get a minute. Okay, so what you're going to need for your cat's... Oh, um, and it's also going to have catnip if you want it. You're going to need your G-hook, some scissors, your choice of worsted weight yarn, and um, I like the Red Heart with Love Holly Red. And then I had some leftover... I don't even know what color this is. Charcoal from Red Heart Super Saver. And some beige. You can choose whatever. Um, this is Line Brand Fisherman Wool Ease. Some catnip if you want it. Some stuffing. And I think that's it. So, I'm going to put my notes right here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm going to type it up. I'm going to type it up and post it as well. Okay, so for our medium marijuana joint, we're going to start with our red. And we're going to start with a magic circle. And we're going to make eight single crochet. Magic circles like so. Put your yarn over. Insert hook. And pull up a loop here in your chain one. And then you're going to make the eight single crochet. So you insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. Insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. So that was two, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, and you might also need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends as we go. Okay, so once you've done your eight single crochet, you're going to slip stitch. You're going to chain one. You're going to make two single crochet in each stitch. So you're going to insert your hook and do two single crochet in that same stitch. Two in the next stitch. You're going to do that all the way around and you're going to have 16. Now me personally, I don't do two in the very last one. I'm going to show you what I do. When I get to the last one, I do one in here. And then I do one in the next one. I don't do them both in the same because it seems to have a big gap. So I just started doing it in that one. And then it doesn't look all jacked up. So then you slip stitch. Oh, there's an ant biting me. So then you slip stitch. But you don't chain one. Because you're going to attach your gray, black, charcoal, whatever you find that you like. I like this one because it just reminds me of kind of like charcoal ash on a cigarette. Okay, so you're going to attach it. You're just going to pull you're going to pull through and then you're going to chain one. And then you're just going to single crochet around one time. So single in the first one here. And then we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You get out of there. And 16. You're going to slip stitch. 
you're not going to chain one because now you're going to touch your beige, cream, whatever color you want. You get out of there. Okay. And you're going to single crochet around for 10 rounds. And if you want, you can now, um, instead of doing slip stitch, you can just go around in a continuous circle so you don't have a line going down. And grab a stitch marker. You might want to cut off your tails. And I need to get a needle because I didn't get a needle. So when you get to your 16, Instead of slip stitching, I just do a single crochet and then I put in my stitch marker. So before I continue, I'm going to cut these off, tie them off, and it doesn't have to be pretty because it's going to be on the inside. So we just did one round of single crochet. You need to do nine more rounds of single crochet and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Okay, so you've done your 10 rounds here, so now we're going to stuff a little. Get in there, come on now. And then I put in, I don't stuff it all the way to the top. And then I get some, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Some sticks and whatnots. Oh, come on. Stinking stuff. Really? Really? You could put as much or as little as you want. And then I put a little bit more on top to keep it in there. Okay. And then. We're going to continue going round and round. Okay, so now we're going to decrease in this round. So we're going to do three single crochets and decrease. So there's one. three and this is how I do my decreases so there's not a big hole so I just go in the front loop only next one front loop only yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then we're going to do three single crochet again decrease again front loop only next one front loop only yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're gonna do three a one a two a three decrease in the front front pull through two pull through two and then we're just gonna do one single crochet in the last one here Okay, next one we're going to just do two rounds of single crochet. So, single. That's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. We're going to do one more round.
I'm going to stuff it a little bit because it seems like it needs to be stuffed. Okay. Next one we're going to decrease again. So we're going to do two single crochets. So we're going to do one. Two. Oh, hi, kitty kitties. We're going to decrease. Willow, leave her alone. Front loop, front loop. Pull through two, pull through two. Again, one, two. Decrease, pull through two, pull through two. One. And one in the last stitch. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet around twice again. Before I do the next round, I'm going to put a little bit more nip in there. Again, you can put as much or as little as you want. Willow, you got to be gentle. Golly. And then a little bit more stuffing. Oh my god, this dog is killing me. Okay, we're going to leave it like that for now. And let's do... We can shape it later here. Do one more round of single crochet. I get in. decrease again. So we are going to do one and decrease. But first I want to it a little bit here. It's going to get to the point where we can't stuff it anymore. decrease one and 
decrease. One. And decrease. Now I'm going to continue doing the decrease, but first I want to shove a little bit more in there. And it won't let me, will it? So I'm going to do one and decrease until I can't decrease anymore. So I just did one. I'll cut it out. We're going to do another decrease. And then one. And I think that's about as good as that's going to get. So then I'm going to slip stitch chain one and then we're going to leave a little bit of a tail I'm going to show you how to close it up or at least how I close it up you can always um, use your needle and kind of make um, make it look how you want to make it look kind of mold it okay 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 so what I do is I go into the front stitches around Oh, I smell jasmine, it smells so good and then I just kind of go through the center and tighten it so it's got a nice little finish and then I go and take and split my yarn in two strands each and I just kind of pick anything here and I tie it in a knot and then I do this kind of knot and then I take my yarn again and I go back through that hole and then I just kind of come out wherever and then boop it pops right in so you can't even tell and just go through again and then go you just kind of shove it in there and bam your kitty's got a nice puff 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 give and I have three sizes so there's one that's even bigger than this and then there's one that's obviously smaller yeah there's the there's the big one and I think that's the little one. Oh, ah my joint okay well I hope you enjoyed it liked it Make it, share it, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!